All right, we're gonna shoot a quick skincare video. This is what I've been doing for the past. I mean, I switch up a lot. If you are interested in seeing this makeup look, let me know, because I did film it. I don't deviate from this look really. So uh, yeah, I'm trying to explore other makeup things. So if you want to see, let me know, and then I'll have that posted. It looks like I'm not wearing a shirt, but I'm wearing a tube top right now with a lab. Um, but hopefully the sound quality is good. Anyway, uh, look, you're really close up right now. First thing I do is remove my makeup. And since I have a liquid lipstick on right now, I'm going to remove that first. So I'm going to take some cotton out. I use olive oil. Everyone's got this, right? So I kind of just soak up a cotton pad like this and then wipe it down. All right, so most of that is off now. Um, and then I'm going to remove my eye makeup. And I have this from Glossier. This is the Milky Oil. Shake it up. And. I have layers and layers of eye makeup on right now. Can you tell? I try to let it soak a little bit and then wipe it off. Just cause if I start wiping immediately, uh, it's not really good for your eyes, tugging in all that stuff. So yeah, soak it, kind of let it sink in and let it do its job. See, I've tried using olive oil on my eyes as well. I wear contacts, so it's just blurry vision for life, you know? But uh, it's disgusting whenever I use olive oil on my eyes because you get like a milky film. This works really well, and it just kind of removes everything gently. And then after that, I go in with two types of cleansers. I know, it seems like a lot, but... That's my favorite part of the day, removing my makeup, so I kind of take my time with it. So right now I'm using this, you know what, I think I might be, this might be the last of it, but this is from Versed, and it's the Day Dissolve Cleansing Balm. I always start off with a an oil type cleanser just to break down my makeup. Oh, this is the last of it. Okay, a little bit does go a long way. I can't believe I finally used this up. I've been using it for like all summer. Yeah, so it kind of just, melts um, the product and I like to take this time to kind of massage my face as well and then rinse it off. Alright so now that all the makeup is off I'm going to go in with a soapy cleanser and this is the one that I've been using. I'm almost out of this too. This is the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. This is actually the number one um, cleanser at Sephora. I guess they sell more of these than any other cleansers. I really like it because it smells a little bit like cucumber and it's just super gentle so on days where I don't wear any makeup, I'll just go in with that. If I'm wearing sunscreen, then I always start with a cleansing balm. I like to take my time with this. And a lot of people say that it doesn't matter what you start with or what you end with. Like, it doesn't matter what you wash your face with or what you um, seal it in with. It's everything in between, like, serums and essences and stuff like that. But I think it's so important to remove all your makeup. I am going to use a scrub today. This is from Alpha H. It's the Micro Cleanse Super Scrub with gly glycolic acid. It's got a little bit of grains in it. I don't usually um, exfoliate all that much, and someone said pretty recently, and I've heard it from like several sources that I need to exfoliate more because I have clogged pores, like in this area. So I've been trying to exfoliate more. So I've only used this Alpha H exfoliant um, like a couple of times now. It's got a little bit of grains in it. I'm supposed to massage it in and then leave it for about a minute or so so that the glycolic acid would break down your skin. So it's a chemical and a physical exfoliant. And I know that some people are against physical exfoliants, but I feel like for me it works better. So I always try to introduce that. Best exfoliator I've ever used is the Kate Summer Bowl and I recommend that to everyone. I'm going to leave it on my face for a minute before I wash it off, but um, if I'm not doing a physical exfoliant like this, then I'll go in with a chemical exfoliant. So this is the Alpha H Liquid Gold with glycolic acid. Put this on a cotton pad and kind of rub it in. Whenever I do this, that's the last thing I do. And you don't have to finish it off with like a moisturizer or anything like that. It just kind of works on its own. Or this one right here from Glossier. This is the Solution uh, Exfoliating Skin Perfector. This works really well. I'm at the end of it and I've gone through like so many bottles of this too. It's really good stuff. And then I'm also trying this one out. This is the Kombucha 11% AHA Exfoliation Power Toner. 
from used to the people. It smells horrible, but it works very well. Um, yeah, I'm going to wash off the exfoliant now. Alright, so this is where the fun starts. I'm going to start with an essence. This is from Orveda. This is the healing sap. This stuff is so good. You're supposed to apply it with a cotton pad, but I just put it in my hands and kind of pat it in. Like that. I'm going to bring it down to my neck too because I'm starting to see lines. With essences, I like to switch around as well, so I've been using this one from SK2. It's the Facial Treatment Clear Lotion. I really don't know what the hype is. I know that everyone loves it, but I haven't really seen a difference with it. The Urbeta one works really well on me, so I've been using that one. Skincare is where it's at for me. It's super fun, so I like to experiment a lot with skincare stuff. And my skin's not really that sensitive, so I feel like I'm really lucky that I get to experiment with so many things. I actually really like this too if my skin's super dry. This is from Iope. This is the Wrinkle Corrector 2500. Oddly enough, it's also an essence, but it looks like a cream. Like that. Since I have some out, I'm just gonna apply that on. Ooh, I also really like this one too. This is from Dr. Jart. This is the Ceramide Liquid Moisturizing Toner. It works really well too, but... I'm going to keep it kind of conservative today. Alright, I'm going to go in with some serums. I like to do a little cocktail when it comes to serums. This is from The Ordinary. Um, this is the buffet. It's got everything good in it. Super Bounce from Glossier. It's great for when you have super dry skin. This is the original packaging. But yeah, it's super gloopy. But yeah, I kind of do it in layers. I don't know if people would recommend that, but I layer on my serums and it seems to work well for me. Know your skin type though, obviously, so if it doesn't work out for you, then um, play around with it. I always try to do some sort of brightening serum, so this is from Burst. So I'll do a little bit of that, kind of put it all over. And then when it comes to oils, because I like to do facial massage, um, I've been using a cocktail as well. This is from Sonia Dakar. It's the Organic Omega Booster. And then I also have this one from Clay. This is the Vitamin C Elixir. I think I'm going to use this one today. i got to shake it up really well though. I'll use a whole pipette and I'll bring it down to my neck as well. Since my skin is super slippery right now, I'm going to go in with a facial massage tool. I've got a few here that are really fun to work with. Serene Wu gave me a skincare um, fridge. So I keep these in the skincare fridge, but I have this right here, which is a gua sha tool. So I just go like this and just make sure that I'm kind of angling it down so that it's not tugging at my skin too much. I'm not too precious with it though. I kind of just run it all over my face until it's not so cold anymore. And then I'll go in with a different tool. I also have this right here, which feels so good. It's great for the morning because I usually wake up really puffy, especially if I'm drinking. It really feels good like around my eyes too. I also started using this, like if I wake up super puffy, then I'll use this from Self Care. It's got a jade side so you can use it to apply your eye cream and such, but I like to use this, like really press it in there. Um, if I'm super puffy. And then I also have this one, which is, it's called the Disco Dick. Just kidding, it's called the Reefa Roller. And it kind of pinches a little bit, which I heard isn't really good, but it feels good, so yeah. Um, of the three or four rollers that I have, I probably use this one the most. I'm gonna go ahead and put on some lip balm. This is from Laneige. It's a lip sleeping mask, and I've been using this for ages, and yeah, I mean, it's a cult classic, right? After I do the full facial massage, I don't really have a method to it or anything, so I'm not going to go into detail about it, but I'm going to put on some eye cream. If it's daytime, I'll use this. This is from La Mer. It's the Lifting Eye Serum, and it's great because you can put makeup on top of it and it doesn't move anything around. If it's at night, then I'll use um, this or this. This is from La Mer. It's got this little massage tool on it, which is nice. Um, but I'm going to use this today. This is from Glossier. This is the Bowl Wrap Eye and Lip Plumping. I don't use this on my lips. I just use this on my eyes, but I get two pumps out. And then put it on with my ring finger. And then Mount Lai made this tool that looks like this. 
it's a jade tool. I kind of just, and this came out of the fridge so it's nice and cold. I'll run this around and it just feels so good. I don't know if it really does anything, but you're supposed to take the sharp end to kind of lift the brow a little bit. And it just feels amazing. I kind of just go around the orbital bone right here. Kind of just massage it in. And I like to put it on my eye cream before I put it on my, um, my finishing face cream because I feel like it gives it a chance to kind of start. Oh, and then I always use this. This is from Kiehl's. I bought this about like two months ago and I still have a ton left, but this is the Power Strength Line Reducing Concentrate because I do have a little bit of lines right here and a little bit right here. This completely diminished as soon as I started using this. So I'm still working on these wrinkles up here, but yeah, I'll take like a pump of this. Kind of just pat it in place. I know it's a lot of product, but this is my joy in life. If I have any excess product, because I just applied a shit ton, I'll put it on the back of my hands as well. Let's finish off with some face cream. I've got a combination here. Um, if it's daytime, I'll use this. This is from Super Goop. It's the Super Screen Daily Moisturizer SPF 40. I'll also use this. This is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Magic Cream. If it's at night, though, I've been using this. This is from Rodin. It smells so good. It smells like jasmine. So I'll just take a bit of it and then put it all over. And then I have another one where if my skin's super dry, then I'll apply. I don't really like the way it feels because it's almost like a gel. I mean, not, not this Rodin one. This one right here from COSRX. This is the Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream. This is for when my skin's super dry. It works really well, but I don't like the texture of it because it's so... This looks wrong, doesn't it? It doesn't feel great, but it works so well. For the most part, I've been reaching for the Rodin one because it smells so good and it works really well and I really have no complaints about it. It's just not as moisturizing as this hyaluronic one. Yeah, so that's it. That's my skincare routine. If you guys have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. I didn't do a mask. Yeah, I usually go for a mask like once a week or so. Um, this is the one that I've been reaching for. It's from Bosha. But yeah, if you have any other questions, leave a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!